from Homemade Smart. And the other day we were able to um, make our lunch meat. We roasted it in the oven. And then today I'm going to show you how I slice it and then we'll freeze it and, and portion it off so that we have lunch meat for the rest of the month or however large your family is. So what I did is, as you remember, I went ahead and took our, our, um, our uh, top, top, uh, top round beef and I seasoned it and then I put it into our stainless steel container, uh, a cooking pan, your roasting pan, and then I, um, I roasted it on about 300 degrees, about four hours, I think is what it turned out to be, until the internal temperature is about 150 degrees. Um, then I took it, I turned off the oven, and I let it cool overnight in the pan in the oven, and so it did cook a little bit more, and then I went ahead and I, um, I, um, put it in the refrigerator. So now what we're going to do is now that we have this on, we're going to go ahead and slice it. And I know that for our personal sandwiches, we have about, I have it a, a little bit on, uh, this is a, a, a Crux slicer, um, meat slicer, cheese slicer. And I have it set on a little bit thicker. I, we like our, our sandwich meat just a little tiny bit thicker. And so I'm going to slice it. I know that three um, about three slices is about three ounces. That's typically what you have on your um, on your sandwiches. So I've got it on here. Caution: this is extremely, extremely sharp, and um, so you want to make sure that you're very, very careful with that because it will cut fingers. I'll tell you that right now. So anyway, we've got this on. I'm going to plug it in, and then we'll just slice it up. And as you can see, it's got the nice crust on there from all the spices and herbs that I put on there. And um, then what I also do is with um, the leftover um, uh, broth from the, um, from the roasting, I will take that and I'll make it into a beef stock. So it um, just turns out so I can use that for later purposes. Okay. Okay, so you just slice it. And of course the smaller ones are going to be a little bit um, a little bit um, thinner, but that's all right. So we just slice this, and like I said, they're a little bit thicker. And um, you just slice it as much as you need uh, to make it as thick or whatever. So what I do is then I'll portion it off into the plastic bags. Um, I do have a food saver, um, and that is also a very, very good way to save your, your uh, meat. Now this is how it looks when it comes out. You can't get lunch meat better than that. That's for darn sure. And uh, so it's still a little, bit on the, a little bit on the rare side, which is good because we like it that way. And um, so we're just going to uh, continue slicing. And then what we'll do at that point is, is there one, two, three, five, six, seven. So it's about seven slices there. I'll do a little bit more. And um, and I'm going to get a little, a little bit thinner, I think, maybe. And so anyway, just continue to slice it. And um, then we'll portion off and put it into into baggies. And you want to make sure that when you do that, let's do one of it now, is that when you take it out and you put it into your baggies, this is a Ziploc baggie, and I, I kind of like these. It's the freezer one, so it will protect it a little bit better. But if you're using your food saver, that's also going to protect it because it will suck out all the air. But make sure that you put on here that what it is and the date that you put it in. So um, that way you know exactly what's in that um, baggie and the date that it went in so we can keep the optimum freshness. So, so we're just going to continue cutting this up. And um, that is lunch meat. It's very simple, very easy. And um, it's not, it doesn't have any processing in it. It doesn't have any um, artificial flavoring or coloring or sugar or dextrose or anything like that. And, um, and it tastes phenomenal, if I do say so myself. Mmm. Oh my gosh. And with the flavors, it just, and after it sits, the flavors just mold together, which is really, really good. And so just make sandwiches out of that. And that's how you make crunch meat. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.